I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm coming to you live from my bathtub. I know it's not our normal setup, but I am finally going to share a life hack that I've been meaning to share with you guys for a long time now. And that is the absolute best way to shave your legs and get that super smooth skin. Now before we get started, some of my loyal subscribers might be thinking, wait, I thought you got laser hair removal. True, I do get my legs lasered at Laser Away, and I think I've had about four treatments thus far. But something that you might not know is that laser hair removal does not permanently get rid of every single hair ever. It just really, really, really reduces the amount of hair growth you have and makes your hair really sparse and thin so you can barely even see it. So honestly, I was really trying to hold out for as long as possible to be as hairy as possible for this video. But even after about a month of not shaving, at least a couple weeks, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it's very sparse, very thin. But before I go into my appointments, I still have to shave. So they recommend that you shave your legs 24 hours before your appointment and you wanna get a really, really good shave. Otherwise, that laser is gonna kinda of like burn the hair and it doesn't feel that good. So trust me, you wanna get as close as possible. But even if you don't get laser hair removal, this is how you should be shaving. So you might be thinking, okay, I'm gonna grab my shower gel or my shaving cream. No, I'm actually gonna grab some conditioner. Yes, I finally found a use for all those conditioners that did not work for your hair or the ones that even contain silicone because we can use that to shave our legs. I got this tip from my friend Tiffany Takara, shout out to Tiffany, and ever since then I've never used shaving cream. I've always used conditioner and I always get the best smoothest result. I don't know if it's because the conditioner is like conditioning our hair and making it softer, therefore making it easier to shave, but it does wonders. And yes, you even can use a conditioner with silicone. I do have a confession. One time I was in my shower and I didn't have anything else to use and I used my Diva Curl conditioner. I know that should be illegal to use that expensive conditioner on my legs. I know, I don't. I don't feel good about it, but it happened one time and it didn't even work. So maybe it works better if you use a conditioner with silicone because you get that slip on your legs. So I do not recommend you using Diva Curl on your legs. I will never do that again. <laughs> Go to the 99 cent store, buy any little rinky dink conditioner. I'm sure it has silicone in it and then shave with that. So today I'm going to grab something out of my little graveyard in my curly hair collection as you guys have seen and I'm going to show you how smooth my legs can get. So my conditioner of choice today is actually by Kiva. I do like their shampoo because it's sulfate free but their conditioner had silicone so I couldn't review it. But this one does have argan oil, tea tree oil, and coconut oil. So those oils might be good in our legs. But it really doesn't matter. Use whatever conditioner you want and see what works best for you. But all right, let's get shaving. All right, now the first thing you want to do is get your legs wet. Now you grab your conditioner of choice. Really doesn't matter what brand you use and it is okay if it does have silicone. Now I'm gonna rub them together and rub it all on my legs. All right, now I'm going to grab my razor and start shaving. And the slip is amazing. I always get a better shave when I use conditioner over any other shaving gel or cream I've ever used. Ta-da! Beautifully shaven legs. Okay, now that our legs are so silky smooth, I'm gonna take things one step further if you want really, really, really soft, smooth feeling legs. And that's just to use an exfoliator after you shave. So I use a couple different body scrubs. This is the Exfoliating Sugar Scrub Coconut Milk by Victoria's Secret. This was like five bucks when they do all those little sales. Love this one, smells amazing. Shea Moisture also has a coconut and hibiscus hand and body scrub, and even Camille Rose has a whole skincare body care line as well. I think it's safe to say that this Camille Rose is actually my favorite sugar scrub. It literally smells like brown sugar, like you're gonna wanna bake a cake out of this stuff. And this is their Caramelized Cane and Sugar Balm. 
But another scrub that I have to show you is by Plush Body. This is the Cocoa and Gold 24 Karat Gold Coffee Scrub. So it's literally coffee grounds with little flakes of gold, and this is gonna make your legs shimmer. So first you wanna add some water to your legs. Never wanna do this on dry skin, so make sure your legs are wet. Then I'm gonna grab my Plush Body Cocoa and Gold Body Scrub. As you can see, it's coffee grounds mixed with gold. So I'm just going to, I use too much, rub this all on my skin. And just really start to exfoliate your skin and to remove all dead skin cells and leave a shimmering gold glow. Absolutely love this scrub and my legs are so smooth. If only you could touch my legs through the screen. Oh, so there you go. That is exactly how I get super smooth, soft, shimmery legs. Oh, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I think I have a promo code so you guys get a discount for the Plush Body Gold Scrub. I'll put that in the description box for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And if you have your own shaving hacks or you plan on trying this yourself, leave me a comment down below. Also, you gotta follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I have a lot of giveaways coming up and you don't want to miss those. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.